Mark Twain once quipped that no man's life, liberty, or property is safe while Congress is in session. The good news this week, Congress was not in session. The bad news, the Obama administration more than made up for it. President Obama signed the massive $787 billion stimulus bill and announced a mortgage bailout program that could cost taxpayers another $250 billion. Now, many have argued that these efforts to rescue the economy are the same as FDR's efforts back in the Great Depression. And there are some similarities. FDR's actions were controversial, and so is President Obama's. But the similarities stop there. The unemployment rate during the Great Depression was about 25 percent. Today, it's under 8 percent. Now, that's high, but a far cry from a quarter of the population. The New Deal cost, in today's dollars, about $500 billion, and it created over 10 million short-lived public works jobs. The total cost of just the stimulus measure, according to the Congressional Budget Office, will top $1.3 trillion in 10 years. And by the administration's own estimates, it will only preserve or create three to four million jobs. In addition to the temporary jobs, the New Deal did expand government, but it will most likely pale in comparison to the expansion in size and scope of the federal government under this measure. The New Deal offered low interest loans to spur the housing industry, but there were no mortgage bailouts. Now, it may sound simplistic, but the New Deal's government-inspired hand up is much different from the present stimulus's handout. And the implications will be lasting and far-reaching, not only on the size of government, but on the American ethic. For more, visit frc.org.